That's the stuff. Die, old your souls, die. What? What do you mean I've got to record a video? Now? But I, I just got these pelts and... Fine. Most gamers are probably just now seeing the real sun after months obsessed with Rockstar's latest entry into the massively successful Red Dead Redemption franchise. The game has been hailed as one of the greatest open world adventures of all time. The main reason for that is just how detailed nearly every aspect of the map is. The magnificent design team is owed the most credit here, but some is also due to real world locations that inspired them. Here are 20 Red Dead Redemption 2 locations in real life. The Red Dead Redemption franchise takes place as the 1800s are wrapping up in the United States. The last few decades before the series begins were pretty hectic to say the least. By hectic, I mean literal blood and carnage, the lights the country had never seen before and still hasn't since. The Civil War shadow still looms largely over the series. The country was recovering from the consequences of the war, but also the benefits of it. Slavery's end also hovers over the country. Characters like Lenny must live with the pros and cons of being free of the spectra of slavery, but not the racism that went with it. Red Dead Redemption 2 even features KKK members, former Confederate soldiers, and former slave owners. The series brilliantly integrates the action into the backdrop of one of America's most challenging eras. Number 2. American Old West the series is famous for being the best video game adaptation of the most romanticized location of the American 1800s, the Old West. States like Kansas, Texas, Colorado, Wyoming, the Dakotas, Montana, Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico were commonly thought of as definite states of this legendary era. Red Dead Redemption 2 walks a tightrope of accurate depiction of the location and the romanticized versions depicted in popular culture. It addresses the awkward politics of the era while also infusing it with as many gun battles and robberies as possible. What more could you want? Number 3. New Hanover There are many states featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you played any Rockstar game before, you weren't surprised to find out that all of the states featured in the game are fictionalized versions of real-life states. New Hanover, for example, is very similar to states like Arkansas and Mississippi. It features plenty of trees, rivers, and open plains. It's a hot debate though as to which is prettier, the real-life version or the Rockstar redesign. Number 4. West Elizabeth West Elizabeth is another one of the state amalgamations. Its name takes from West Virginia, but it's also quite a lot like Oklahoma. It's a beautiful location in the video game and one of the first real showcases of how talented the design team truly was. In any other game, West Elizabeth would have been more than enough to satisfy for the entire game. In Red Dead Redemption 2, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Number 5. Amberino The mountainous and freezing terrain of Amberino is one of the most challenging areas of the game. There are fierce grizzlies, packs of wolves, and bitter cold that eats away at your vitals. The area seems a lot like real-world Montana, like its real-life doppelganger. Amberino is a beautiful area that is well worth the effort it takes to traverse. It remains to be seen how many white Arabians are running around real world Montana though. Number 6. New Austin The state of New Austin is among the least subtle amalgamation states. Not only is it seemingly named for the capital of an American state, it is one of the closest representations. New Austin is very clearly the great Lone Star state of Texas. Though like all the other states, it's also a smoothie of several other as well. It features barren plains and desert locales that definitely provide a stark contrast to the other areas of the map. Number 7. Lemoyne While New Austin is an incredibly obvious recreation of parts of Texas, it isn't nearly as faithful as Lemoyne is to its sister state in the real world, Louisiana. Every square foot of Lemoyne is the bayou state through and through. It is also probably the most intricately designed area in the entire game. It features several species and large-scale locales that none of the other states can compete with. The only thing that seems missing are purple and gold-laden cowboys who wear tiger print that tackle you out of nowhere. That's an LSU joke, though this may not be the audience for that. <laughs> Number 8. St. Dennis There are several cities featured in the game. But none are as clearly based on a real-life one as St. Dennis is for New Orleans, Louisiana. 
The port city is designed to look like one of the America's oldest and greatest cities. The only thing missing is the option to have Arthur or John flash random citizens for beads. It's likely not as easy to tackle a woman accidentally while you try to mount your horse as it is in the game. You would have to ask someone from New Orleans to know for sure. Number 9. Swamplands The swamps of Lemoyne are clearly based on the swampy regions of southern Louisiana. Though there is one part of the area that takes inspiration from a different location in a controversial film. If you take the wrong turn in the swamps, Arthur has a very unfortunate encounter with a nasty looking degenerate. The scene plays out as an allusion to the Burt Reynolds and John Voight film Deliverance, which takes place in Georgia instead of Louisiana. Number 10. Blackwater Blackwater is one of the most notable locations in either game. Before the events of Red Dead Redemption 2, the gang makes a huge mistake and loses all of their money when a plan goes wrong. The place is commonly thought of to be modeled after another famous US city, St. Louis. Like Blackwater, St. Louis was one of the most prominent cities in the area. Blackwater doesn't have an arch though, so St. Louis wins. Number 11. Armadillo There are a lot of famous Old West cities where gunfight was rumored to only be one bad look away. Armadillo is clearly modeled after a number of these cities. One of the most famous that was obviously one of the inspirations for the town is undoubtedly Tombstone. The town was the famous location for Wyatt Arp's legendary gun battle. Arthur Morgan can even grow a mustache that would make Kurt Russell jealous. But not Sam Elliott. We don't have the technology yet to compete with that glorious stash. Maybe Red Dead 3. Number 12. Van Der Lind Gang The Van Der Lind travels throughout the country since they are always on the run from the law over some stupid thing Dutch does. The gang definitely takes inspirations from several different real life games. The James Younger Gang from Missouri was probably the biggest inspiration. Jesse James's famous gang was known for robbing banks, hijacking trains, and also trying to stay a half step away from the law. Sounds familiar? Number 13. Older Skulls The Older Skulls are probably the second most famous gang in the game. They also seem to be the most inspired from a real world game. But like the Van Der Lind gang and its Jesse James counterpart, the real life inspiration for the Ultra Skulls is from a different area altogether. The Dalton Gang from Kansas was a famous family led gang of evil doers that roamed the countryside looking for trouble. Though no one probably hated them as much as everyone hates them damn gum Ultra Souls, pardon my French. Number 14 Lemoyne Raiders There's another gang in the game that takes after real life outlaws. Like the others though, they were in a different part of the country. The Quantrill's Raiders were ex-Confederate soldiers who were a lot like their Lemoyne counterparts. The main difference though was that instead of being from Louisiana, they originated from Kansas. A band of idiot rebelers is a band of idiot rebelers no matter where they're from. As long as they have hate in their hearts and nothing in their brains, what's the difference where they're from? Number 15. Renoke Ridge Renoke Ridge is one of the last locations discovered in the game's story. It's also the most depressing. Not only is it the area where Arthur slowly succumbs to his disease, it also trades the Wild West motif for terrifying Halo people and depressed miners. This seems like it's based on 1800s North Carolina and Virginia. Number 16. Guarma The Guarma storyline is one of the biggest right turns in the game. For many, this twist didn't really fit with the rest of the story. For starters, it's the only location that isn't in the United States or on the regular map. It's clearly based on Cuba and tries to recreate the amazing action of the Mexican Revolution. Unfortunately, it just doesn't quite get to that level. The big problem is that you have to stop hunting pelts and focus on actual story. Who wants to do that? Number 17. Mexico There are a lot of cool amalgamation locales in the franchise, but there's one that doesn't even try. The Red Dead version of Mexico is modeled after none other than Mexico. Big shock, right? While Guamra is disguised Cuba, the team strangely doesn't feel the need to max Mexico in the same way. The country isn't featured in the second game, but it is frequently referenced. Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't disappoint in many ways, but not getting to explore Mexico again was a real letdown for many of the fans. Would a Landon Ricketts cameo really have been so hard? Number 18. Heartlands The Heartlands features some of the most beautiful scenery in the entire game. It's one of those things that makes you stop and wonder if you're really playing a game or just walking through an interactive painting. 
It seems like the area is based off the beautiful scenery in Dakota and eastern Colorado. No idea if they ever feel like they're walking through a painting though. If they do in Colorado, it's probably for different reasons. Number 19. Couture Springs Couture Springs is one of those beautiful locations in the game that could have easily been missed. It's a wonderful area filled with beautiful scenery and several hot springs. The area is more than a little reminiscent of real-life national treasure Yellowstone Park. If you need a place to model after for a video game, there are a few places in America that are as fit as Yellowstone is. Though, if you're walking through Couture Springs, don't have a picnic basket equipped. That's an easy way to get mauled by a tie wearing grizzly and his tiny sidekick. That's good advice for any national park visit. Number 20. Wapiti Reservation Red Dead Redemption 2 decided to take a different choice than its predecessor when it came to depicting the struggles of Native Americans in the era. The first didn't focus on the plight too much, but the sequel made that struggle into a major plot point. The area where all the missions are focused is the Wapiti Reservation. Like most locations in the game, it's likely based on several different reservations. The Blackfeet Reservation in Montana was probably among these inspirations. It was set in a similar location and features similar stripe. Unfortunately, there are some aspects of the game that are just as grim and violent as their real-world counterparts. A game like Red Dead Redemption 2 is really just a gift that keeps on giving. There are hundreds of beautifully rendered locations in the game that may very well be inspired by places in the real world. If you know any we miss, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you out there in the wild online west. Also, off topic, I know, but has anyone seen my friend Gavin?